So we are finally ready now. The much anticipated matchup between the Oakland Raiders and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Super Bowl 37. Jero Vicious in motion. And Johnson looking left and lofting it to the right, and it's picked off by Charles Woodson. An easy pick. And Woodson sets Oakland up in Tampa Bay territory. The line of scrimmage with more time. From the 28 on third and two, Gannon to Brown. And that's a first down at the 20-yard line. Gannon facing a four-man rush, but that's enough as Simeon Rice comes into second. Now a 40-yard attempt by Janikowski. Shane Leckler to hold, and Janikowski scores the first points of Super Bowl 37. Johnson throwing over the middle, and that pass is caught by Joe Jerovicious out to the 40-yard line. He's taken down by the middle linebacker, the rookie out of Northwestern, Napoleon Harris. Lower leg, third down and 10. Deep drop, Johnson has time, throws, caught on the run by Jerovicious. And he's finally taken down inside the 40 at the 37 by the linebacker, Travian Smith. 23-yard gain on a third and 10. Now a toss to Pittman, who came over from the Cardinals, who breaks one. And he's finally bumped out of bounds by Rod Woodson. Good block by Allstott. What else is new? Tom Cooper to hold. Ryan Benjamin to snap it. From 31. That one is good. We went to practice yesterday. We also took every snap yesterday. Third down and four, and Gannon's going to go down again in the arms of Greg Spires. Second time. Offense has no speed. Third and a deuce. Gannon flushed out, chased by Spires, and it's intercepted by Dexter Jackson. So each team with a pick, Jackson brings it back to the 50 with nine seconds left in the quarter. Lead of the Super Bowl. And from 43, kick kind of a screwball. Started out as if it would. Barber blitzing, and he gets picked up, and it's intercepted again by Dexter Jackson. And he's across the 50 to the 45-yard line. Second and four. Gives it to Pittman. Inside the 10, and it'll be first down and goal. This is a down to do it. Second and goal. Instead, it's all stop. Into the end zone for the game's first touchdown. This is a big one. You got to control the line of scrimmage, control the big guy at the line of scrimmage to get a. Johnson to the outside, caught by McCardell. Spins away from the coverage. Charles Woodson, the defender, touchdown. McCardell's going to run up, and if he doesn't get by him, he throws it to the back shoulder. That's exactly what he did there. You see, now Woodson is playing the front shoulder. He's playing the front of him, and Brad Johnson just throws it to the back side of McCardell. County wouldn't even take his helmet off on the sideline. Second down and eight from the 31. And that is caught by Keyshawn Johnson. Up to the 40-yard line, and that will move the chains again. Do their stupid thing. Good protection that time. Perfect pass. Jero Vicious deep into Oakland territory. Out of bounds at the at the 14-yard line. Bent a big, big hole. Bunch the receivers to the left, spread out along the tree trunk, and the pass is caught by McCardell. Touchdown. Because now the Raiders are tired. They're not getting the pass rush. They're, they're, they're missing tackle. Four, two, five. Second and two. Down into the outside. And it is intercepted by Dwight Smith, the nickelback. And he gets by Gannon and goes in for the touchdown. He tried to hit Jerry. You see him off here. He's just playing zone. 
and he just reads it. You see, he was he was like 10 yards off of Jerry Rice, and and as we said the whole time, the thing that these guys do the best is they key the quarterback's eye. White Smith was like 10 yards off, just watching the quarterback. Third and three now from the 39-yard line. Gannon has time this time and then throws and it is caught out of the end zone and wouldn't you know it Porter beats the secondary but the pass is thrown a hair too long. He looks at the feet you look at the feet first and then you look for possession. So now I think we have to look at possession yeah, yeah. because he did have feet right there's a, the right foot and then he drags the left but the ball the ball is rolling around a little bit. But he still has control of him, and it doesn't yeah. hit the ground, or he doesn't drop it or anything. Yeah, but the refs, think he, the refs think, hate, they hate to see that, though. They, they hate yeah. when... After reviewing the play, it's been determined that the receiver possessed and caught the ball with both feet inbounds throughout the process of making the catch. The play is reversed to a touchdown. There you Oakland go. Oakland is not well, charged with a timeout. Absolutely. And everybody and Gannon goes down in the arms of Simeon Rice, almost untouched around the corner. Yeah. Oh. And they're going to end up a lot of unbalanced because he'll he'll run the rest of the game. And that is blocked, and that's exactly what the Raiders need of anything to get back in the game. And it's taken into the end zone by Eric Johnson for a touchdown. Well, well, now he's not going to sit on that lead. He come on a block. This one here, it comes on a block. What's number 51? You're going to see him right here. He's the guy. He gets his his right hand up. Johnson gets his right hand up, knocks it over. Doesn't catch the ball, but they get it and have a convoy going into the end zone. Two for the hole. Snap this with the play clock at three, and then it's juggled. Is it your premium in disguise? No, he just falls on it. I'll bet you Garrow came into his head at that point. Third and 13. Deep open is Rice. Touchdown. Whoa, baby. 48 yards. Oh, it was crisp for Rice. Second down and nine. Gannon under pressure. Look out from behind. Sack. Ball loose. Raiders recover at the 31 yard line, but a huge play. Mo Collins winds up with the football, so the Raiders still have it. John Sims, and he goes right through Middleton, goes right through that double team. Third and 18, and this is going to write a finish. Derek Brooks, who ran back three interceptions for touchdowns in the regular season, does it to cement the Super Bowl. And when you throw the ball, he ends up right in the middle of the field. Do they think he's going to be out there by the numbers? And he does that better than anyone. He's out there by the numbers, and then he squeezes in, and that's where he gets his interception. And the funny thing about it is, is the Raiders knew that was going to happen. John Gruden, I think, knew that was going to happen. Players and coaches and fans and everyone, you have to remember this all your life. That's tip, and that's a fifth pick of the game by Dwight Smith. And again, Dwight Smith is going to take it down the sideline into the end zone. Wow. Just as I'm learning that Dexter Jackson has... I'll vote for Dwight Smith. No, but I think, I mean, I still stay with, with mine. I mean, Dexter Jackson, and congratulations to him and, and everyone, but... But, but but this thing was won and controlled by the defensive line. That's it was. That's where that's where it all started for this Buck team. And I, I know it's Florida, and I know it's hanging chads and all that stuff. But Jackson's two picks were were usually important. I mean, this is just this is a uh, a cosmetic pick right here. By Wild man, he's a hitter. He's all those things. And John Gruden, like I says, you have it, and you'll have it for the rest of your life. And. They could never take it away from you. Well, Malcolm Blazer 